Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm just trying to get my angle going here correctly and I am going to share this video with my group. I wanted to bring you some basic principles to really master credit. Um, I have a number of people who reach out to me in a day. I do consults and analyzation appointments with people. And so it gives me a lot of information to actually know what people are thinking about credit and how they can try to improve their credit score. So a lot of people get their information mostly from credit repair companies. And that is how they're learning about credit which sometimes is your issue if you are watching me and you like the information i also want you guys if you don't know i have a credit group you need to join that group the link is in this video all um the way that facebook alg algorithm is working now you might not see all of my content that i am making so it's important that you join that group so you will not miss any information i have a lot of people that sends me friends friend requests and i'm at the top of my limit with that on my personal page so just make sure that you join my credit group but what i wanted to give you about the uh just basics to master credit you got to see credit as building a house point blank period when you are new to credit 18 years old 19 years old just like a house being built you are only adding materials there is nothing to remove there's nothing to repair because you are starting off building credit building is one of the primary sources of having good credit so a lot of you guys are so gun ho of removing negative items and then you don't understand that if you're starting off with credit like when you're 18 years old and you ha absolutely have no credit you have bad credit no credit equals bad credit so how is disputing or removing negative the items the only way to improve your credit score that is not true your primary goal is to build credit so like I'm using the example you're building ha a house you have to add material to that house so your credit house you build your house with trade lines now there is a misconception that people think that all trade lines are are the same a trade line is an account that report to your credit profile so you have installment loans that's like your auto loans you have a fixed monthly payment with a debt that you're paying off you have unsecured revolving credit card accounts you have uh like your your credit cards lines of credit these are more on the higher end, the higher echelon, because these accounts are not secured by anything. It's just uh, given to you off of that creditor's good faith. When it comes to cars, when it comes to real estate, real estate is high on the list because the banking system understand you had to be vetted out in order to be given that real estate but when it comes to cars and mortgages they have collateral to come and get back so when you're building your house of credit you got to know what material to add on you got to know what to put in certain places in order to have a solid home so if i am building a home there is a part where i'm going to uh, number one build a foundation your foundation is your personal information you need to know how to dress up your credit you don't want a bunch of uh, addresses on there because it looks like you're unstable that's number one you don't want um, to constantly change employers honestly and truthfully if an old employer is on there and you haven't been there it's best to let it stay there it's a different look 
for a person that has a rental account on their credit and a mortgage. It looks like you're at a higher level of responsibility. So you need to know what to put on your, what to put in the type of materials in your house, your credit house. There are people that's just throwing stuff on and they have no idea why they're throwing it on. They're thinking that it's helping their situation, but it's not helping your situation. It's actually uh, counterproductive to your situation. And so what happens with a lot of people, uh, nine times out of 10, I'm going to say about only uh, probably about 80% of people who never had good credit and never achieved it because they never had education about credit. And I have so many people and I give tons of information that they refuse to go for the free information to learn. Understand the credit, the FICO score is based off of your own behavior. So it's a, like a person that want to lose weight, you go to a doctor, you get surgery, but don't want to know how to manage your diet. You're going to have to learn how to eat because your weight is dictated by your behavior. I don't care how much work that doctor do on you. This is what y'all doing with these credit repair companies. It doesn't matter how so much somebody doctor up your credit score. If you don't know how to control your behavior, you don't know how you're eating should and what you should put in your mouth, you're going to be back in the same position. And I have so many people who is so dedicated to not putting in the work, not to learn anything and to stay in their ignorance. And you're going to stay in the same position. I don't care who you call cleaning up your credit. It doesn't matter. Another thing, you it's nothing wrong with hiring people to do things for you, but you better know what you're hiring for them to do. A lot of you guys are using credit repair and you don't understand that system is only based off disputing. It's not based off of you building credit, which is the primary goal. The reason why you got to dispute stuff off is because you done jack some stuff up and nobody will give you credit. So if you don't know how to build credit, even when you got jacked up stuff on your credit, it is possible to build credit at the same time. They're not going to tell you that because they don't make money off of that. You got to understand a lot of you guys. I had a gentleman that contacted me that wanted to hire me to do uh, credit analyzation. And he told me I just got a lot of inquiries and I paid this company to, to take it off. And then I said, how old are are they? He said, there'll be 24 months. Uh, it'll be like 24 months by, by next month. I said, you don't need me to do anything. All you got to do is wait till about January. They'll come off. You don't have to pay me. And he, you're so honest. And, but like I told him, I said, that's just inquiries fall off in a two year period. So what it is, people just don't know. And so you have to make sure if you're hiring people, you got to know what you're hiring them to do. Because you're going to constantly get robbed. A lot of you guys problem, you don't have knowledge. That is your problem in itself. So you don't know how to tell your behavior. So going back to building that house with credit, there's many people just throwing trade lines on, getting self builder accounts, but you want to buy a house. That's the dumbest thing you can ever do. Jumping up, getting a car and you want to buy a house. That's dumb. Don't do that. That is dumb. You know why? You cannot qualify for a house. Do you know the more debt that you have obligations every month that the less you qualify for a home? Or you might not qualify at all because you just added on the wrong type of trade line. So you have to get knowledge because some of you guys are doing things that is totally counterproductive to your goal. You don't take on debt and then call yourself, I want to buy a house. You don't put the car in front of the horse. If you truly want to buy a house, you're not buying a car before you get that house. You get that house first because you can let, you can, qual it can cost you with that, that car to qualify less than a, uh, like a hundred thousand dollars less for a home because of that car note. 
because they take account of how much debt that you are obligated from that trade line every month. You got to watch student loan debt if you want to qualify for a loan. It is a bad idea if you're like, well, I want to go back to school and I want to buy a home. Well, you better chill on adding more student loan debt before you go get that home. Well, it should help my credit. I pay my student loans on time. But that, eh, 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 baby, but you can't qualify because you're adding too much debt. So you have to understand how to build your home. See, people got it mixed up because they're not learning. And this is why I'm dropping videos on how to obtain lines of credit. Even when you have bad credit, some of you guys can qualify. I'm showing you how to get uh, uh, store cards, how to get qualified lines of credit. You're not going to do a lot of that. You got to know credit go to levels. So you have to learn how to take the steps and go up the ladder. So you have tier one cards, tier five cards. You got to know how to build your credit. That's why it's a difference between a milestone credit card and American Express. You got to learn how to build. You got, you got and I'm not talking about a co-branded uh, American Express. We're not talking about uh, a Hilton American Express because they're just using them as a processor. We're talking about going to the company and getting a card issued from that company. Top of the line now in this day is getting a Chase account. But you don't know a lot of times the rules. You haven't did enough studying to know how do I reach that point. You don't know about the rules of that company. You can't have too many new, no more than five new accounts in two years. So a lot of you guys, because you failed to learn how to build credit, you just stuck in one rut because people brought you information. This is why I do coaching. I don't, I, this is why I keep telling you I'm not credit repair. I, I'm, I'm trying to give you information so how you can improve your credit score, how you can improve your life. So I'm going to stop talking about ABC, EFG, HIJKL, because I have found that since I have reduced the knowledge of what I know down, people are not learning. They want the same like to me low level content that they had before and they're still in the same place so for me it had to hit a light bulb moment there's something is not the student fault it's the teacher if i know more then it's up for me to give more challenging content to make people think because some of the information or the feedback i get from people and I'm like how do they even think this way still if you following my information like going back to what I said people you're in politics I'm coming to you for credit that is the dumbest statement in I ever heard in my life when you don't understand your disputing came from your congressional your legislation well how do you think you get to dispute things off of your credit I, I, don't you know your politicians wrote all of this stuff in law? You don't know that? You have no idea where, where you think you're getting that power from. So when we're going on building credit, this is how you got to know. There are one part, the two basic principles. One part, you got to leverage the FICO system, the Fair Isaac company system. And then the second part, you got to leverage your legislation and your laws to remove negative items. You got to know those laws, Fair Credit Reporting Act. You got to know the Fair Credit uh, the Fair Credit uh, Collection Practices Act. You got to know that's how you're going to remove and leverage your court system in order to remove negative items off of your credit report. So when you're building credit, now some of us are older. So you're not new, you don't, you're not just adding with this new house building materials. There's some of this stuff y'all gotta tear out. Your house is a little older, it's a little rickety, mistakes have been made. So now you have to go in and know what to remove and what to add back in. If you have a problem 
with the framing of your house, you got to tear some of this stuff out. Some of y'all have some bad accounts that need to be taken out, need to be removed. But there is some stuff that's in that house you don't need to mess with, even if it's problematic, because it is holding up that structure. And that's what some of y'all thinking with late payments all the time. Depending on how old it is, depending on how many negative uh, uh, late payments it is, some of that stuff need to just be left alone and you need to build on top of that. You need to add on better material because if you remove all of that, people don't understand that age of credit. Age of credit makes up the third biggest part of your credit score. So if this is where a lot of people get jacked up with credit sweeps because you're listening to credit repair and then they look all bewildered and call me up. I did a credit sweep and my score dropped by 100 points. Yeah, boo, because they removed age of credit. You, you're like 40, 50 years old and you just had a credit sweep. Now you got a, a the, the credit score of a 20 year old. This is what people don't understand about CI. Um, talk about uh, CPN numbers. You don't think that's what LexisNexis is in the background for. They got your history. So they know that that number just came out of the blue. And you putting your, your birth date down there. And they found out that you only had credit for six months attached to this number. Ain't nobody stupid. They know darn well that, that you just pulled this number out the blue. So you're paying these folks for a bunch of dumb stuff instead of just sitting down, fixing your own stuff or learning how to get an EIN number and then try to lever leverage that and build a business. And you can do that in, in connection and in junction with your name. You can start a business in your name. I talked about that many a time. You just selling cookies on the street is a business and you're just doing it in your own name. It's called a sole proprietorship. You can leverage that to get credit cards too. And you'll get double the amount of the um, lines of credit. So you got to just know what to do and how to do. You got to understand that credit, your FICA score, the FICA system is all about your behavior. This is why a lot of my African-Americans, all of my minorities don't understand when I talk politics and I tell you how much systematic racism it is. But I got folk going to tell me, though, you want to have a cool point. I already told you your neighborhood. You're being watched. Number one, your 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 Social Security number from the rip. Do you know the first three numbers? Represent, especially after 1972, is connected to your address and where you were born. Your, what region you were born in. They know what neighborhood you were born in. Because that's what it's connected to. They got you pegged from there. But you don't know that. Because you don't study that. You don't look into that. It is a ton of racism that's in that, in that number alone. They know where you were born. I worked in the insurance industry. And they told us uh, straight up, I, an attorney told us, they know how much to offer you an insurance company when they ask you one key question. They know how much they're going to pay you. Where did you go to high school? If you go, went to a high school in a certain neighborhood, they're not going to offer you but a certain amount of money because they already know that your education level and your background that you would take a certain amount. So don't tell me about how I don't know about politics, how I don't know about laws, and how I don't know about systematic racism. They'll tell you that in your face if you're in the industry. They're not going to but offer you but so much. So some of y'all don't understand why you're on your application that asks you where you went graduated from high school. You don't get it. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn today because they judge you off of that. They judge you off your background. Told you from the door. If you don't know, let me, if you don't know, well, now you know, as Biggie said. Do you understand that when you use your credit card, they're tracking you exactly where you're spending your money? What neighborhoods that you spend that card in? Do you not know you can dress up your credit report and receive certain, certain credit card offers by subscribing to upscale subscriptions 
to go to eat at certain restaurants, when they see that you're swiping that card in certain neighborhoods, they know who you are and they know what they're going to lend to you and what they're not going to lend to you. You don't know that? And now you're going to know today. They watch all of that. They watch your address. I already told you. Where you live, your address is very important in getting credit. They take an average of the people around you, what their score is, and that's what is dictated on what you're going to get lent. No matter how good you get your credit score up, no matter how, how high, these are ways that they are allowed to do backdoor policies in order for racism and to find out how much they're going to lend you and who you are. So if you don't know about the system enough, you want to constantly hit into these buffers. You don't know. You got to be careful where you using that card, where you swiping that card. You don't know how to un how to leverage your FICA score. You don't understand that lenders, if you're at a certain age and they don't never see a real estate account nowhere, that people have whole tricks on how they add a real estate account on their credit score because these are deeper things because you're going to get lent more money that's for people that's trying to learn and trying to go places because at a certain age if you haven't got any things but car notes credit card debt car notes credit card debt they already know who you are that's why i always tell you when collection companies are reporting a collection and they have no proof it's defamation of character because your credit have everything to do with your character. This is why it's called credit worthiness. Are you worthy by your behavior? What's being reported on your credit report of credit? So I hope this is informational. If you want help with your credit, you want to do a credit analyzation so you can find the quickest way to increase your credit score. You can reach out to me. If you want to go to my YouTube channel, it's Sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y, Beckley, B-E-C-K-L-E-Y. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to have other more in-depth videos there because I can do PowerPoints. I can have more slides so people can get absolutely free information on understanding how to improve your credit so I am going to drop more on how to build your credit but that is an important part at the same time as you disputing negative items off of your credit so I will go more into depth on that but you're gonna see more of a combination of me talking about not just disputing negative items because at this time you should be trying to build credit and dispute negative items off at the same time. You can do that simultaneously. You just got to know by your credit score where to aim. You can't be at a 580 or a 620 trying to get an American Express card. That is just not the best way to do things. You need to try to aim for accounts that is in your reach. So this is why it's coaching this is why you have to add strategy and you can increase your credit score and remove the negative items. Not saying you can't get the American Express card, but before you are qualified for these top tier cards, you're going to have to remove, especially collections. You're going to have to very much so monitor how many hard inquiries this is why i'm trying to give you our content on how to be pre-approved so you can take these steps and without even applying sh just shooting in the dark to see if that company would even consider you for extending credit to you so this is why all of this is being added because i don't care how good your credit score is you can have a 750 credit score. If you got way too many inquiries, you're going to be denied. Denied. Okay? So you have to learn. This is why I said it's about education. You got to learn. 
if you want more content like this you want to stay in the pulse of it make sure you hit the link and make sure you have joined my credit group so if you need the credit analyzation um sarah the link is there in my video anybody else if you have any questions feel free i prefer if you guys join the group and, and you ask me questions you can hit me in the inbox but i prefer in the group because other people in our community are disputing things at the same time this is where i get a lot of my information is so many changes going on with COVID. we can all stay in the pulse of real-time information real-time adjustments so if that is something that you're interested in please join our credit group and i hope this is informational and enjoy your day